Hello, uh, this demonstration is going to show some new build features that we've put into uh, Crossworks version 3. So I'll start Crossworks. I'm going to use the Simsys DSP library solution. So this is the Simsys DSP library that uh, Arm Supply. It's a project with many uh, files, as you can see. So this is the folder for all the files in there. So I'll start by building it in a single configuration. So here we see that um, this is the architecture, the instruction set, the endian, the mode of uh, floating point, and the optimization, and also the character size for the wide characters. So if I rebuild that, we can see that uh, the slider bar is, is building here. So there's 262 files to build, and we've got a the impressive countdown coming here. Okay, so that uh, completed in 36 seconds. The feature that I'm going to show you is called Unity Building, which is on by default. And what happens is each of the files in the source files folder is is compiled into one file. So if I rebuild with unity enabled then we'll see the build is quite a bit quicker that's nine seconds the way that works is crossworks creates a temporary file that hash includes each of the files in the folder there's also a filter mechanism so if there are files that can't be compiled this way, then you can exclude them. The way uh, Crossworks uses the tools, each function is putting its own section so you won't get the problem of uh, the linker pulling all, in all of the symbols if just one are, uh, one's used. The, the next feature I'm going to show you is, is parallel building and what that is is it enables more than one uh, project build to occur at the same time. Uh, Crossworks has a notion of batch building which enables the project to be built in a number of configurations. So if we select that and then we can see here that there are a number of threads created and managing each of the, the various configurations so we can see the combinations of which are 16 and which are 32 and we can see the combinations of, of small optimization versus fast optimization. So this is a, um, a good a good way to use the the multi-core um, computers that are now widely available. So I can cancel that build, and Crossworks will wait for each of the threads to complete. before declaring that the build has been terminated. So I've covered uh, Unity building and, and Parallel building there. The next feature I want to show you is the Clang support that's in Crossworks uh, version 3. And I'm going to use a different project for that. I'll use the, the Towerboard project, which was used for an earlier demonstration. So if I rebuild the venerable Drystone uh, application, we can see some of the command lines here. So this is using uh, GCC, the, uh, the CC1 program from GCC, and then the uh, assembler from, uh, from Binutils. And we can see the code size of Drystone is 10.1k. Uh, what I can now do is I can use Tools, Options, and change the compiler variant from GCC to Clang. I can now rebuild. we see the code size has dropped so on this particular example Clang seems to have done a better a better job at uh, code size reduction and as we can see the the Clang LLVM bin Clang is used to do the compilation but the the same assembler is used the uh, the other Clang feature that's been put into Crossworks version 3 is the code analysis feature 
if I right click on the project and do open with code analyzer then a, a different set of uh, um, diagnostics are generated and so they're here so this one shows that a variable's been written to but then it's subsequently not read so you no point writing to it and this one's quite a bit more interesting in the sense that it shows it's not entirely obvious what the problem is here but the enum lock is not initialized and there's a path through this do if while construct whereby that can be tested that concludes the demonstration thank you